46.5 billion light years. That's how far we will be from home. We will stand at the edge of everything, the boundary where existence meets the void. Behind us, nothing. And you are going in. What you are seeing is the edge of the observable universe. Out here, at the edge of everything, there is no sound, no air to carry it, no ears to hear it, just light. Ancient light, carrying messages from the beginning of time itself. These galaxies rushing past you, they don't know you exist. They were already old when your planet was dust. They'll still be burning long after every trace of humanity has vanished from the cosmos. Each one, an island universe, hundreds of billions of stars, trillions of worlds, and you're passing, thousands of them, every second. You feel it? That vertigo? That's your mind trying to comprehend the incomprehensible. Welcome to the observable universe. But wait, look closer. Do you see it? These galaxies, they're not random. They're connected. Threads of dark matter, invisible scaffolding built by gravity itself. It's a web, the cosmic web. And you're flying through it like a photon through neural pathways, as if the universe itself is thinking. Every filament you pass contains more galaxies than there are grains of sand on every beach on Earth. The Sloan Great Wall, 1.4 billion light years of galaxies, stretching across the heavens like a cosmic highway. And between the threads? Voids. Vast emptinesses where nothing exists. Where an old photon could travel and never hit a single atom. You're crossing one now. Every galaxy has a story, and you're witnessing their final chapters. You might be now passing close to the Shapley Supercluster, the gravitational monster pulling thousands of galaxies toward it. Over 47,000 galaxies bound together in a dance that began before complex life existed anywhere. And in one of those galaxies, right now, someone might be looking up at their night sky, wondering if they're alone. They don't know you're here. Watch how they streak past us, not because they flee, but because space itself is stretching, pulling everything away from everything in a breath that has lasted 13.8 billion years. You are witnessing the true scale of infinity. As our warp drive travels through the intergalactic space, you can notice something extraordinary. Galaxies aren't spaced evenly. Can you see it? They gather in titanic clusters, cities of trillions of stars, connected by filaments that stretch across hundreds of millions of light years. And between them, voids. Immense deserts of darkness, where almost nothing exists. In those regions, you could travel for billions of years and never encounter a single star. Yet here we are, crossing them in a moment. Between galaxy clusters lie the great cosmic oceans, voids so vast that if the Milky Way were placed at their center, another galaxy might not appear for hundreds of millions of years. These are deserts of darkness where gravity relaxes and time seems to stretch. And yet, even here, there are whispers of hidden structure, streams of dark matter shaping the universe in silence, like invisible rivers guiding everything we can see. Out here, the universe reveals its deepest truth. Galaxies are not isolated islands. They move in currents, gathered into titanic walls and tendrils woven through the darkness. We are gliding along one of these filaments now, a highway of galaxies stretching across hundreds of millions of light years. From here, our own Milky Way is nothing more than a single shimmer among thousands. Can you see that bright cluster over there? That's our local group, what we call the Virgo Supercluster, 
It's part of the Laniakea supercluster, which we are crossing as we speak. And there, that faint small dot ahead of us floating like a silver whirlpool in the dark, that is the one we call home. The Milky Way is still far in the distance, but its shape is already emerging. A spiral of light calling us back from the endless horizon of the universe. As we move closer, details begin to rise from the darkness. A spiral shape emerges, soft, delicate, unbelievably vast. Each arm is a river of fire woven from hundreds of millions of stars. Nebulae glow like cosmic lanterns, marking the places where new suns are being born even now. From this distance, the entire Milky Way fits in the palm of our cosmic hand. But in truth, it is a kingdom of light so immense that a beam traveling at the speed of light would take 100,000 years just to cross it. Watch how it slowly expands before us, a shimmering disk tilted gently in the void, like a coin made of stardust. This is the island the universe gave us. Every story humanity has ever told comes from one pixel in this vast spiral. Every dream, every life, every song, all born from one fragile corner of a galaxy now unfolding before our eyes. As we draw nearer, the spiral arms sharpen. Dust lanes appear, dark rivers cutting through the glow, shaping the galaxy like strokes of cosmic ink. Bright clusters ignite the scene, their blue giants burning ferociously against the softer gold of ancient stars. The Milky Way is no longer a distant smudge. It is enormous, majestic, alive. Even from here, its gravitational heartbeat can be felt, the subtle pull guiding us deeper inside. But you're not here for the edges. You're not here for the beauty, the stars, the worlds. You're here for what lies at the center. Because in the heart of this magnificent spiral, in the core where millions of stars dance in impossible orbits, something waits, something hungry, something ancient, something that the most brilliant minds of our world struggle to understand. Sagittarius A-Star. We are now heading to the monster. We are crossing the threshold now, leaving the quiet outskirts of the halo behind and plunging into the glowing plain where the Milky Way truly begins. This is not just entering a galaxy. This is entering a storm of creation. Stars begin to appear everywhere, tens of thousands of them, scattered across the horizon like burning diamonds. Each one is a sun, with its own family of worlds, its own stories written in gravity and fire. We are no longer in intergalactic space. We are inside the beating heart of a cosmic metropolis. The darkness between stars shrinks. Light becomes overwhelming. Space begins to feel alive. As we move deeper, vast rivers of interstellar dust wind through the galaxy like dark smoke, blocking light, shaping arms, carving pathways through the starlight. These shadows are not empty. They are the cradles of future suns. Inside them, atoms collide, Gravity tightens its grip, and newborn stars ignite in flashes so bright they can outshine entire star clusters. We are drifting through the factories that built every atom in our bodies. The deeper we go, the closer the stars become. Distances that would take light years to traverse now pass by us in moments. Blue supergiants blaze with ferocity, luminous, massive, burning through their fuel with reckless brilliance. Red giants shimmer like fading embers, carrying the memories of ancient epochs in every atom they shed into space. We are witnessing the full life cycle of the cosmos in a single sweeping glance. Ahead of us, a golden glow will soon begin to rise, 
soft at first, but intensifying with every passing moment. That light is the galactic bulge, the central sphere of the Milky Way where stars pack together in numbers almost beyond comprehension. We are heading toward a region so dense, so radiant, that night can never exist there. The spiral arms are behind us. The core awaits. And at its center, something far more powerful than light itself. As we cross the inner edge of the spiral arms, the light ahead becomes overwhelming. Stars no longer appear as single points. They merge into a golden haze, a glowing fog of countless suns compressed into a density far beyond anything we have witnessed so far. This is the galactic bulge, a colossal sphere of ancient stars born in the universe's earliest epochs, still burning with the memory of creation itself. The bulge is a realm of extremes. Red giants drift like dying lanterns, shedding the last of their light into the surrounding clouds. White dwarfs flicker like frozen sparks, the crystallized hearts of long dead suns. And through it all, gravitational tides twist and stretch space in ways our minds were never meant to grasp. It is beautiful, and it is terrifying. Something changes in the air, a subtle pull, a deepening hum running through the very fabric of space-time. We are approaching the most powerful structure in our galaxy a place where stars whip around in visible emptiness at speeds unimaginable, a region where even light hesitates. We are nearing the galactic core. And there, at the very heart of this swirling inferno, lies the most mysterious object our civilization has ever discovered. That Sagittarius A star, Four million suns compressed into a single point, without surface, without form, without mercy. Everything we have seen so far, the stars, the nebulae, the arms, the bulge, all of it orbits this. It is the anchor of our galaxy, its engine, its sculptor, its shadow. Here, reality and time stop. Physics as we know it, break. This is not a shadow. This is a hunger written into space-time. If this journey shook your sense of reality, if it made you feel small, overwhelmed, or unbelievably alive, don't keep it to yourself. Subscribe, share this video, and join our mission to explore everything beyond the reach of light. Most people will never see the universe like this, but you just did. Now help someone else experience it the next journey begins the moment you click subscribe.